For decades if you flew on a big long-haul jet, you were flying on one of two names, Boeing or Airbus. These two giants have owned the skies, connecting continents, but now, a new challenger is emerging, China's Comac C-939. This isn't just another airplane, it's China's first real attempt to build a wide-body jet that can carry over 400 people across oceans. The C-939 is more than metal and jet fuel, it's a bold statement of ambition. Imagine deciding to challenge the two companies that have defined aviation for half a century. The C-939 signals a shift. China wants to design and build the world's most complex machines, not just assemble them. For years, China was a crucial supplier in aviation, but never the master architect. The C-939 aims to change that, moving China from the factory floor to the design studio. It's a massive gamble, but if successful, it could reshape global aviation. Building a giant like this takes more than a big factory. It takes national will and the best minds in engineering. The C-939 is China's Everest, a test of grit and innovation. And like any great story, it's full of challenges, setbacks, and high-stakes drama. Why invest billions to build a plane that does what Boeing and Airbus already do? For China, it's about control. China is the world's fastest-growing aviation market, buying hundreds of planes each year, mostly from the West. That's a lot of money and dependency. The C-939 is China's key to self-reliance, moving from being the world's factory to becoming the architect. Building a wide-body jet is the ultimate test of industrial and technological might, a symbol of national pride. China's made in China 2020 Sao, Somwai, Manifai, I did die, go boy sir, I died. Strategy puts aviation at the top, aiming for leadership in high-tech industries. By developing its own planes, China reduces reliance on foreign suppliers and insulates itself from trade disputes. Breaking the Boeing Airbus duopoly is the grand prize. With the C-939, China can supply its massive domestic market and compete internationally, especially in friendly countries. The goal reshape global aviation and give the world a third choice in big jets. For years, the C-939 was just a rumor, a bigger plane to follow the C-919. Comac focused first on getting the C-919 flying, but behind the scenes, plans for something bigger were taking shape. Hints surfaced in 2022 and 2023, with vague comments and technical papers. This slow, strategic approach is typical for China's major projects, build consensus, do the homework, then step into the spotlight. In 2024, the C-939 was officially confirmed, no longer a rumor, but a real project. This announcement fit perfectly into China's long-term strategy for technological independence. With the C-919 flying, Comac had proven itself. The C-939 was the next much larger ambition. The timing showed the C-919 wasn't a one-off, but the start of a determined journey. Comac and the government played the long game, waiting for the right moment. They built experience, watched the global climate, and launched the C-939 when the need was urgent. The official launch wasn't the beginning but a new, public chapter in a story years in the making. The C-939's journey from rumor to reality shows China's strategic patience. Now, the world is watching the next chapter unfold. What do we know about the C-939? It's designed as a true long-haul widebody carrying around 400 passengers. This puts it in direct competition with the Boeing 777 and Airbus A350, the kings of international travel. The C-939 targets a range of about 14,000 kilometers, allowing non-stop flights between major cities worldwide. Its design echoes proven Western Jet's low-wing twin engines, optimized for efficiency and safety. Where it will stand out is in the details, advanced materials, wing design, and efficient systems. Comac aims to match or exceed rivals in fuel burn and maintenance costs. Like Boeing and Airbus, Comac is expected to create a family of C-939 variants for different markets. This strategy is essential to capturing a share of the global aviation market. The C-939's edge lies in balancing proven tech with next-gen innovation. Advanced composites like carbon fiber make the plane lighter and more fuel efficient. Expect a high percentage of composites in the wings and fuselage. Aerodynamics matter. The C-939 will have long slender wings and curved winglets for maximum efficiency. Every bit of drag reduction means big savings for airlines. The biggest challenge? Engines. Initially the C-939 will use Western engines from GE or Rolls-Royce, trusted, reliable choices. 
but China is developing its own powerful turbofan, the AEF-3500, aiming for true independence. This dual approach, using proven engines now, developing domestic ones for the future, is smart and strategic. Airlines want reliability, so starting with established engines builds trust. Once China's engine is ready, it will close the loop on self-sufficiency. As of December 2025, the C939 exists only in digital form, no prototype yet. The project is in the preliminary design phase, where engineers finalize the configuration and select suppliers. The next milestone, the first metal cut, marking the shift from design to production. Building the first C939 will take years, with parts made in different factories and assembled in Shanghai. Even after assembly, the prototype faces years of rigorous ground and flight testing. Test pilots will push the plane to its limits, generating data for engineers and regulators. Every aspect of performance must be documented and verified. Realistically, the first prototype could roll out by decade's end, with a first flight in the early 2030s. Commercial service would follow, assuming smooth certification. The journey is long, but the momentum is real. Building a plane is one thing, convincing the world to fly on it is another. The biggest hurdle for the C-939 is certification by global aviation authorities like the FAA and ESA. Without their approval, the C-939 would be limited mostly to China. Certification is rigorous, especially for a new manufacturer. China's own regulator will certify it first, but international validation is the real prize. Beyond regulators, COMAC must win over airlines with competitive pricing, lower fuel burn, and reliability. Airlines need a global support network for parts and service. The C939 is about China's ambition to become a leader, not just a follower. For decades, aviation's rules were written in Seattle and Toulouse. The C939 is China's bid to add its own chapter. If successful, it will mark a new era, one where the sky is no longer a two-horse race. The dragon is learning to fly, and the world is watching.